what is up guys Jake again today got a haul video this is mainly stuff that I picked up from targets um, buy two get one sell so a lot of stuff and then I got a few other stuff that I've recently uh, just picked up and got in the mail within this past week so let's go ahead and get started with um, stuff from Target and I'll start with some of the Screen Factory stuff that I picked up which is mostly not newer but um, well some of them are newer that came out that I've been wanting to pick up I was just waiting for a good price uh, first one Wes Craven's Deadly Friend um, it's been a long time since I've seen this so looking forward to checking it out again um, I think like most people, um, I still remember the basketball scene in this. So, uh, next Screen Factory one I picked up on the sale was Alone in the Dark. Uh, this is one of them I've never seen, but um, looking forward to checking it out. I know it's got uh, a pretty good cast. I know, uh, the, what is it? Yeah. Jack Shoulder directed it and got Donald Pleasance in it. And there's a few other people in this that are recognizable. This is another one. I have I already had this on Blu-ray, but it was the standard. I think it's the Screwhead Edition or whatever. It came out DVD. Um, so decided to finally get through this Army of Darkness. Uh, this might be my favorite out of the trilogy. Um, but you know, this is one thing about this Blu-ray. I didn't even know it's got three different cuts in the film, so that would be interesting to see. And then the last Screen Factory one I got in the sale was Killer Party. Uh, this is another one I've never seen this, so looking forward to checking it out. All right, and the rest still got a bunch more from sale ago, but the rest of this is, mo is mostly there's a few boutique stuff in there, but it's kind of just random labeled stuff. Um, you got Superhost, the Shutter original. Um, watch this on Shutter, really, really liked it. Um, Barbara Cramp Crampton has a cameo in it, but uh, it's it kind of gave me, I don't know if you've ever seen um, found footage film Creep. It kind of gave me that kind of vibe, but um, really, really good. I don't know the girl's name, this girl, but uh, she's really, really good in it. So I highly recommend that. It's on Shutter if you want to check it out. Then I've had my eye on this, and it's another one I was waiting to get for a decent price. Toxic Avenger collection. It's got all four films in it. Um, you know, I remember renting one through three on VHS. Um, oh, they're great. And uh, part four, I really enjoy part four as well. It might be my, might be my favorite. I don't know. Toxic Avenger. Then I picked up a few uh, Vestrons that I needed. I still need a few more. Waxwork 1 and 2. Uh, really like Waxwork 1. I've never seen Waxwork um, 2, so definitely looking forward to checking that out. And the, well, one of the last Vestrons ones I got, Chud 2, Bud the Chud. Um, I have not seen this since... I don't know if you remember when they was coming out with multi packs, and um, this was one of the movies on it. So it's been that long. I really remember very little about it. Uh, everybody kind of says it's a shitty movie, but I guess we shall see. And they got an Arrow. I've uh, loved this movie since I can remember since I was a kid. I remember renting it on VHS and Deadbeat at Dawn. Not really horror, it's more like a 80s gang uh, movie, gang revenge movie. 
but uh, I highly, highly recommend this. Jim Van Bever, um, he was, oh, he was like 20, 22, 23, 24, somewhere around there. When he made this movie and he directed it, acted in it, stunts, all that you can think of, he did it all. Highly, highly impressive. And I really, really love this movie. Got one from Vinegar Syndrome that um, I've never seen, but I did watch a documentary about a straight, straight to video horror. I think it was on Tubi. And uh, this came up, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the guy who did directed Detroit Rock City directed this. Psycho Cop Returns is Psycho Cop 2. Um, from the clips they show, it looked right up my alley. So I decided to pick it up. And then another one I've been wanting to rewatch this for a while. Uh, I remember seeing it probably about when it came out. Uh, it's 2001 Maniacs with uh, Robert England in it. Um, I don't remember really that much about it, but I've been wanting to check it out again. So I went and picked it up. And this, this one has a 4K release, but this was cheap enough and will probably be better, good enough for me. And I think it, uh, it has a 4K transfer restoration on it. So that's Suspiria, the two, yeah, two desk set. Um, probably, mm, probably is my favorite Argento film. Might be second favorite, I don't know. I really like Tenebrae, but uh, Suspiria. And then keeping up, I guess, with the Italian, the sect, like uh, Scorpion releasing, put this out. Um, don't really know much about it. It's just Dario Argento Presents. And uh, I wish I could know. Yeah, the director, he did like The Church and Stage Fright. So. It, it ought to be pretty good. And then picked up Night Living Dead 90s. Um, I had the Blu ray back, you know, it's probably been forever ago when Twilight Times was still around. And they put this um, out and I bought it, and the transfer was doo doo. Um, so I sold it, and I never just, I stuck with the DVD for a while, but uh, finally got the Blu ray back. And uh, excited to rewatch this. Uh, I really like this. I, I do think I prefer it over the original, but uh, Night Living Dead. And the last one I got from sale was uh, one of these Code Red re releases uh, Trick or Treats. Um, I know it's got David Carradine in it, uh, and that's about all I know about it. Um, so, excited to check that out. I'm probably not going to wait till Halloween to watch it. Probably get around to it pretty soon, but we'll see how I do. So that was everything from Target, which was a lot. I think there's like 15 movies. A lot of Target, got a lot of stuff to watch. Uh, these lot, next few is just um, three of these. I just, I think all three of these just came out recently. And um, two of these I just happened to pick up because I got them at a decent price. Um, stop by FYE. I picked these two up for pretty cheap. House of the Devil, Ty West. Uh, love this movie. Probably my favorite of his. And then The Innskeeper, uh, which also really like this one. It's got, uh, what's his name? Well, Sarah Paxton's in it, but Pat Healy's in it. I really like him. Um, Innskeepers, it's a good one. And these three just, just recently came out. Ghost Rider, Riders, um, I guess MV, MBD Visual, which I guess from the same, it's gotta be the same company as MVD um, that does the other stuff, but kind of a Western horror. Um, I just remember this um, in the video store. So decided to check it out on Blu-ray. Then I picked up from Trauma, Surf Nazis Must Die. Um, it's been 
since VHS since I've seen this too. So I don't remember a whole, whole lot about it. I'm excited to uh, check it out again. I mean, this era of trauma, like yeah, Seven Nights Music Must Die, Combat Shock, Traumas Wars, Toxic Avenger, that's the best era of trauma for me, in my opinion. Um, they did do some stuff in the 90s that was good, like uh, Tromeo and Juliet and Terra Farmer, but 80s, early 90s, trauma is the best. The last one I picked up is, I think, the first K, first 4K release that I picked up. And that was Madman on 4K by Vinegar Syndrome. Cannot wait to check out the transfer on this and the new special features. Uh, some new special features on it. It's got new special features from Dead Pit, some interviews with Dead Pit Radio. Um, I think it's got a new, oh uh, yeah, Galen Ross. She actually has a new interview in it. And I think for a while she kind of didn't have want to have nothing to do with uh, this film. This is definitely one of my favorite non 80s uh, slasher movies by far. Is Madman, and I'm holding that upside down, and highly recommend uh, picking this up. But that's it, guys. That's the haul. A lot of stuff. Um, got a lot of stuff to watch. Picked up a lot of stuff. Got a lot more stuff coming. So I guess expect more of these in the future. But till next time, peace.